Hello everybody. Uh, this is a very simple script to calculate the optimum LUT size. Uh, here we have some inputs for uh, receiving whether we want to buy or sell, and then input for stop loss, take profit, and risk percent. And then inside the unstart, we have some code. It's a simple one. Here we have two if conditions. If we want to buy, is buy is true, then we would send a buy order, and if it's buy is false, we are sending a sell order. And this is a function to calculate optimum lot size. Uh, I leave you the link for the video describing how to calculate the lot size and the mathematics behind it in the descriptions. It's very useful to see it. You should understand the mathematics behind it. Then you would understand how uh, I code it here. This is the whole code. And we go to uh, MetaTrader 5 to test this code, this script. I close this one. Here we have the script, optimum lot size. If I just drag and drop it here, the first input is is buy. If it's true, it means we send a buy order. If it's false, we, it means we send a sell order. First, we check it with the buy order, then the stop loss here. The entry point would be around uh, 1.08422, and I want, for example, the stop loss be in 1.082. So I say the stop loss 1.082. The take profit, we don't need the take profit, but the take profit, for example, can be 1.087. Well, 1.087. And risk person, I want it to be one person. Now the balance is 43, 47,353 almost. And uh, five person, one person would be around $470. If I press OK, remember this all good trade should be active to be able to send the order. If I press OK, an order, a buy order would be open. If I check the stop loss, I would see that if I hit the stop loss, I only lose. Uh, 474. It's almost 473 that we were expecting, but because uh, we are round, we are rounding the lot size. It's not exactly the same. Uh, if I close it and put another stop loss, I would see that it doesn't matter how far or how close is the stop loss. It's always uh, would be the same lot size here. The lot size is around 1.08. And sorry, the volume would be around 2.1. The, the, the volume, the lot size would always be in a, in, a say, in a way that when you hit the stop loss, you always lose 1% lose of your trading account. I close it. Again, I drag and drop it here. And uh, I want to buy. And now it's where it, I choose a very close value. For example, 1.08360. 1.08360. If I press OK, it opens a buy order. But now the volume would be 4.96 lot size. And if I keep it here, I still see if I hit the stop loss, I would lose 473. We can check it for sell orders too. If I just drag and drop it here, then I want to have a sell order. And I say, for example, I want it to be around the stop loss one. I want it to be around 1.08165. 1.08165. One but in this case, for example, I want to just risk 2% of my uh, balance. If I press OK, a sell order is open. and if I hit the stop loss, I would lose $945, which is two equivalent to 2% 2 of my balance account. Uh, it doesn't matter, again, how close or how far is stop loss from my entry point. It still uh, risk 2% of my account balance or even 1% if I enter 1%. I restricted this code to not be able to risk more than 4% of your account. But uh, please notice that this program is just written for educational purposes. Before using it in your real account, test it in a demo account to be sure that it is working with your broker.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.